So here's a very rough representation of today, right? Learning and development playing kind of the middle person role. Or on the left, you have the people who are providing expertise and information, subject matter experts, management, executives, HR, project leaders, all of these different folks. On the right, you have the audience, different groups within the workforce. In the middle sits learning and development. And yes, there are back channels. People can go around us in various ways to provide information and training directly to audiences without our support. Maybe the audience is using open source materials or generating their own content. But generally speaking, we sit in between the people who know and the people who need. This is what I believe we're turning into as learning and development. So of the providers of information, subject matter experts on the left, you have the users of information on the right. But instead of us sitting in between, I believe that's where the technology comes into play. And they both get their hands on the button now. So in order for people to access information from the right side, they may be able to take control without needing that person in the middle. On the left, to generate content and information, they may not need a person in the middle. They may be able to leverage technology. But we're still in the picture because we're sitting underneath that technology and making sure that the tools are built in the right way, that they have access to the right data, the right information, so we can facilitate that connection point between those who need and those who know in a meaningful way. But I believe this technology is what's finally going to get learning and development out of the middle, because the reality is there's only so many resources we have, only so many problems we can address. So this, while it looks like it's shoving us into the background, I believe this is a meaningfully good thing as long as we inform this conversation. Again, don't get impacted by it, because this is our opportunity to support more people, to help solve more problems, to inform the systems and the channels and the technologies that allow people to do their best work every day. But it does require us to step back and recognize that we're not the heroes of this story. We're not Batman in learning and development. We're Alfred, right? We're the, we're the person in the chair who's making sure people can get access to the things that they need, whether it's training, a job aid, information, help, whatever that may be. So that's what I believe the picture of learning and development in the workplace is becoming. And it's meaningfully going to shift the role that we play.